The man who robbed an entire country, Jolo. Imagine someone from your country tricks your Ministry of Finance and takes away billions from them in fraud. That's exactly what Jolo did. Yes, while it's true that it's illegal to do this, truth be told he might be the only person in history who managed to rob an entire country. Welcome to BossQ. Today we will be talking about Jolo, the man who robbed an entire country. We know you must have a lot of questions. What country did he rob? How much did he rob? And most importantly, how did he even do it? Well, stick around to the end as we answer these questions and more and delve into the details surrounding this ridiculous story of Jolo. First, let's talk about Jolo's upbringing. He grew up in a wealthy Malaysian Chinese family, so at a young age, he was accustomed to living a lavish lifestyle. It is worth mentioning here that his family always kept a low profile, something we will see low fly to his own life later on. Well, being born in a rich household had its perks, and unsurprisingly, he was sent to one of the best schools in the area before being sent abroad to London, where he studied at the Elite Harrow School from a young age. Lo was good at socializing, and going to these elite schools helped him develop relationships with people from some of the most powerful families all over the world. This helped him develop even better connections, and he maintained such a high reputation that he managed to form an investment group that was founded by Kuwaiti Sheikh and a Malaysian prince, not to mention the future UAE ambassador to the USA. This goes on to show how influential he was early on in his career, and how he could deal with big names. However, he notably used his relationship with Reese Aziz and helped him set up Red Granite Pictures. The production company was later responsible for producing top hits like Wolf of Wall Street. During his time, Lost started a party a lot, famously spending millions during his bashes. He was funding this all thanks to his money laundering business with rich individuals and would use his role as the financial intermediary to launder money out. This not only made him millions, but made him notorious with rich people. Most prominently, he used to launder the money that had been stolen through the manipulation of the Malaysian Development Burhut. According to U.S. investigations pursuing him speaking of the One Malaysian Development Burhut, or 1MDB. For short, let's talk about it in detail. The 1MDB scandal began in 2009 when Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak created the Malaysian Development for Burhut, or 1MDB Fund. The fund was intended to be used for investment and development projects in Malaysia. However, it was later discovered that more than $4 billion of the fund had been misappropriated at the center of this scandal involving Malaysian businessman Joe Lowe. It is alleged that Lowe was involved in the misappropriation of funds. He is believed to have used the money to purchase luxury goods, artwork, properties, and other assets still confused. Well, let us explain in detail Lowe's role in the whole scandal. Lowe was accused of using these funds as a financial vehicle to purchase assets such as luxury properties artworks and other investments according to the U.S. Department of Justice. Yep, you heard that right billion with a B insane isn't it? But the story doesn't end there as Lowe was also accused of using the money to buy political favors and influence the Malaysian government. He is alleged to have made contributions to the campaigns of several politicians in Malaysia, including Prime Minister Najib Razak, with his stepson being the link between the two well all these alleged wrongdoings. Of course, there was going to be an investigation in July 2016. The U.S. Department of Justice filed a civil lawsuit seeking the forfeiture of assets worth over a billion dollars that they believed had been purchased with stolen funds. The lawsuit alleged that Lowe and his associates had laundered the stolen funds through a complex web of shell companies and bank accounts. The scandal also sparked investigations in other countries including Switzerland, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Despite it being quite obvious that Lowe was behind it all, he denied all allegations claiming that he did not know of any wrongdoing related to the One Meter DB Fund. But despite this, justice was served when in July of 2020, a Malaysian court found Lowe guilty of money laundering in connection with the scandal and sentenced him to 12 years in prison. The court also ordered Lowe to pay a fine of over $2.7 billion. Well, so you must be thinking that this is all over now. Lowe must be brought into some jail cell, right? Lowe has evaded capture, 
Thanks to his wide influence, it's speculated that he's living in China where he frequently travels through important towns and stealth, and that's not all according to a report. In November 2020, it was believed that Luo was presently residing in Macau in a residence owned by prominent Chinese Communist Party officials. Of course, he would invite A-list stars such as Leonardo DiCaprio to these parties and gift them extravagant items. He even dated big names such as Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr to whom he gifted jewelry worth over $8 million. But his biggest interest was in Kate Upton whom he had gifted and given money worth in the millions. It is speculated that he would give thousands of dollars to invite these stars over to his legendary parties. Of course, given the amount of money he used to splash in the end, we would just like to say that even though he stole $4.5 billion from a country, this story speaks wonders about how important it is to maintain social contacts. We know he used these connections for something illegal, but this does prove that if you know whom to talk to and who to become friends with, you can control the world without doing anything illegal. Of course, in this day and age, socializing is important, and people don't hire you for your knowledge or effort. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.